Hi, I'm Olivia. Oh, thank you. And we're the 2018 Children's Tumor Foundation Ambassadors. Like, we all have NF and we're all in this together. Olivia looks out for him. She doesn't let anybody mess with her brother. They are great together. She loves him. When other people stare at Frankie, I'll just, I usually just say, hey, it's not nice to stare. It's Frankie and I's experience is definitely different. We both have the same type of NF, but like, I don't get stared at walking down the street. Got teased, like, that wasn't funny. I was not happy. The roles are a little bit reversed. She's more like the big sister, just cause um, she's more, adult-like than he is and they're both okay with their roles and they've adapted. She gets to be the big sister even though they're, you know, years apart. It was just normal for me, like I just kind of assumed that everybody had someone with special needs in their family, but like when I actually learned about it I was at the age and it was just kind of like, oh, I'm different. One of the things that um, I do with CTF is I go to camp in Salt Lake City every year, the NF camp. Camp Kostopolis, the Dream Foundation. Having a place where those kids can go and be around other kids with NF is great. They're getting, they're, they're included and they're having fun and they're going to amusement parks and water parks and I wish they would have been around when I was a kid. I found out Frankie had NF pretty close, like probably his first checkup. He had the six Cafe Olay spots. I had NF since I was like since kindergarten, preschool, gonna be 23 next year. He, he looked fine and everything when he was born, but they, um, he started having seizures around five months. It was pretty devastating, so. but it was rough, for sure. So his optic glioma turned into a plexi and it was growing where you couldn't see it and then it um, got too big and it eroded his part of his skull and um, it caused glaucoma, so he had his eye removed when he was four, like days before Olivia was born. I've had like six, seven surgeries. It's not that easy to have NF. It's like, it's not that easy. My friend, he just doesn't understand that about NF. Hard for them to see. Pretty sure other people don't understand. He has struggled a lot more with his NF than me or Olivia. They said he would never walk or talk when he was a baby, and he's walking and talking. Frankie's just kind of amazing. I graduated high school in 2014. Here he is, and he's, you know, cracks jokes and watches TV and is funny and is happy. He's had some major stuff happen and he's just like, okay, what next? When looking at me, you can't tell that I have enough, but like, I can always like kind of feel like walking weird or like just stepping wrong and then I can like feel something shoot up like in pain through my body. A lot of kids with NF always are like kind of behind or like on an IEP or like 504 plan. I am one of them. It never like really bothered me or like really that affected until like I got older and like I had to have more serious surgeries. I have had about like five or six surgeries altogether. Like I'm about to have another one like before my sternum. I have this thing called pectus excavatum. So like my sternum is caved in and it's like crushing my heart, my lungs. Like three of my four heart valves are not, are pumping right and my lungs are so like compact and like crush that forces the blood back into my heart. Olivia is incredible and she's she's strong and deals with life kind of like she's already been on the planet for a long time like when you meet her she's the old soul. I've been learning Japanese since I was five so I hope I'm fluent and I mean Watashi wa ima sanihaku juhachinen kodomo no chuma foundation no ambassador de narimasu. I feel like it's gonna be really cool to be up there with my brother, especially because like he's super cool, like he's a super funny guy. So I've wrote about like four speeches now. I'm always like, I have to write the best one. This one is too emotional. This one's too sciencey. I have to like get it right. Seeing Frankie just be happy and like come home every day, like laughing, smiling, that gives me hope because even though he's struggling with so much, he can still be happy. 
Um, people who like donate, people who like ask questions, trying to learn about it, that gives me hope. Like science, like how science is evolving, just like small little things of like getting like little bit by bit steps closer, that gives me hope because I feel like bit like little things make a big difference in the end.